Hey guys, welcome to another video and today I decided to do a chit chat, get ready with me and answering a bunch of questions. So let's get started. Start perfing my face first because I just took a shower and blow dried a little bit. So I'm just gonna be using a toner to wake my pores up and open them. So I mean close them or open them. I don't know what they do, but they're really good in helping with the texture of my skin. Regardless of what skin type you have, it's important to keep the pH level balanced. And that's what I'm doing. I literally put cool Optomer, which has cucumber in it, or yeah, cucumber extract. So I feel like I'm such a skincare junkie, so. All right, so the next step, of, or the next thing I usually do is just to pat my skin. Is fragrance free or just, just be careful in your choosing your foundation. So I'm just using the, so I apply a little bit of foundation or BB cream, just a little bit, like so small, like this amount. And okay, so the first topic or first question is what is your name? And people think my name is Kim X Rosie, but technically my name is Kimberly. Kimberly Rose. So I just like to kind of shorten my name to make it Kim X Rosie because I feel like it's very simple and I don't want to complicate my name or just when you're introducing yourself, you really just want people to remember you. So, that's why I named myself Kim X Rosie. How old are you? And I am 18, and I am not really a fan of being 18 or older than that because you have a lot of responsibilities. You have to just tackle things on your own and it's great, it's such a liberating feeling, but it can be really stressful, so yeah, welcome to your adult life, I think. I wish I can see what I'm doing right now, but I forgot, I just literally forget where I put my beauty blender. I'm just going to see what I'm doing. Question is, where are you from or what is your race? Um, I am Filipino American, but clearly I can never relate to the accent. I mean, I can speak Tagalog, but I'm really bad at grammar. So I feel like I prefer being, I prefer talk, speaking in English just because I feel I make I make more sense rather than just speaking Tagalog and there's something odd in what. All right, so the next question is, what grade are you? Are you in university? Are you what grade are you? I'm in my last grade, which is 12th grade, and I'm senior. And I don't like it. It's kind of like you know, like a huge deal. Like you're stressed out, but to be honest, I'm trying to just soak that excitement for a new chapter or a new whatever I have to do in my life and just keep going always have a goal each day no matter if it's just like waking up or just something small really takes a toll on like the major goals you have so all right so I think I blew my eyebrows because I just have very bushy eyebrows or they just itch, like I feel like there's a forest in my eyebrows and I need to fix them so I'm just brushing them up slightly and I don't color them because I feel like they're already like noir or dark as, not dark but just okay you know at least I have something and I'm not overwhelming like Mr. Bean. You can see nothing extraordinary, these are like my natural eyebrows so I don't I mean, I wish I kind of like cleaned up a little bit, but I'm I don't want to do anything like I, my under 
yourself used to do. So just letting them go. And next I'm just gonna put a little bit of lip balm because um, you don't wanna get cracky lips, you know, in case you meet your opa at a supermarket and he decides to kiss you. So I'm using just like banana feel, I don't know, banana style lip balm. Okay, now my lips are moisturized, I'm just gonna fill in my lips with a little bit of color because I feel like I'm very pale or just, um, I just fill the out, I just outline a pinkish tone. So, is, why did you cut your hair? And, uh, my mom probably doesn't like fact that I cut my own hair and the fact that it's um, the shortest than ever and I kind of like it the reason why is I don't have to take too much time and effort to like fix it up and I don't have to like actually do anything which is great because I have no time to kind of I mean I have time but I'm just lazy and I want to try something new so short and I feel like there's a burden out of me so I really am loving the short hair right now so I started my youtube channel because I felt like I have this voice or I have this mouth and I'm not doing any good just being shallowed or in my own comfort zone so I just want to be expressive and I want to share things that I personally love like cooking, like pranks or music or anything. I feel like I'm so random and I prefer being random than absolutely boring or what's that quote by- oh Marilyn Monroe said it's better to- she's not British but she, it's better to be absolutely ridiculous than absolutely boring. So that is a quote is what are you planning to do with this channel? I've been getting this I don't really know I'm just going with the flow with my brain and just like if I have an idea I'll stick to it and write it down rather than having myself to feel anxious on making a specific content whether it's just fashion or beauty or whatever it may be I cannot just be specific. I have to be, like, I have to expand my horizons and just kind of go with what excites me. So, I feel like I'm a ghost now, so I need to find the windows to the soul. And the eyelashes are basically the curtains, if, you, if that makes any sense. You know, you gotta just go, I'm getting a little bit of that Vaseline, Vaseline. I don't like to put mascara because I feel like when I wash my eyes or wash wash my face, it doesn't even come off. So I have to use something less strong. Or this is just days where I'm just going to the convenience store and pretending that my opa is gonna be there. So you guys just have to look your best and feel your best at the same time, you know? Life is too short to like not do anything exciting. Okay, I really need to um, put a corrector because I feel like a ghost still and I'm going to curl just because I feel like it's so fragile and it takes a lot of time to perfect it. So. So I don't do eyeliner at all, like if I had to go somewhere fancy, then I would put an eyeliner but overall I just think it's too much time, effort, and yeah, especially with nails, I don't do my- I don't have long nails and I don't want to because I it's so fragile to have and I love the look, I love how it- how glorious it looks but I just don't have time to be fragile so 
That's why I don't get my nails done like ever. You can use a tint and just put a small amount in your hand and just rub in slightly. There you go, you blush in your way to. Okay, so. Okay, that's pretty much the look. And it's very. just simple, and I don't want to look good in case that happens. So, thank you so much for watching my Get Ready With Me. I'm not gonna do much in my hair, I'm just gonna let it slush out like so. And yeah, I kind of really don't know what my makeup routine is. I don't even have one because I don't wear makeup every day. But if this was the case, then I would wear this look. So thank you so much for watching. And if you have other questions and you're curious like me, just definitely comment down below. And I will answer them purely with honesty and make sure that I'm not creating bias. I really like to be opinionated on topics or just you know have my own perspective of things. So thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up and I'm just so glad that we are just you know starting on this journey of being random and absolutely ridiculous. So have a amazing day and damn.